Hello everybody, it's time for another mini update. Now that we're through the first week of the launch of AI War 2, so I just want to thank everybody for making it a very successful one for the channel, and hopefully for those of you in the AI War 2 community who have at least so far found my videos on it to be useful. And I also want to get into some of what the schedule is going to be like going forward after this. It'll be a long time till I figure out what sort of the new normal is going to be here. But before that, I did want to single out a couple of things. Chris Park did a long AMA on Reddit a day or two after the release. And it so happened that somebody over there linked the tutorial series that I've been doing which was definitely kind of them. And I specifically want to thank three Reddit users, Cyan2K, Lark, Simeon, and Valhahahala. I'm sure I butchered that name, but regardless, appreciate them anyway. Because they gave me some really good feedback on how I could improve the editing in my videos. And I'll definitely be trying to work through that. And then also, I definitely want to give my appreciation to Tato McWhiskey, who showed up and gave me some good feedback as well. For anyone who doesn't know, he runs a very much thriving and growing channel. I'll got to put the link to that down in the description. And is an outstanding, I would say, world-class player of Civilization VI as the primary thing that he does over there. But he could have very easily blown off what I was doing, said, you know, this guy just really doesn't get it. But I instead he chose to give some good positive feedback that I think I can use to hopefully make things better in the future. And as I've always said, the number one thing that is a benefit to me, the number one thing that I covet, that I value, from those of you who are generous enough to spend your time on the channel, is constructive criticism. I like to know what I'm doing well, but I like even a little more than that to know what I'm not doing well, so that I can make it better. There's a lot of blind spots that I have, just like everybody, and Often I'll just be doing things, and this has been a really good example of it, that I thought were good, and somebody points out, hey, you could, you know, if you did this, it would improve that. And then I can work on that. It's always true in virtually anything that for every person that complains, there's 10 or 20 or even 100 people who notice, but don't say anything. In both of those things, I am very much grateful. Moving forward then, Things are going to go a little bit differently than they have been in the past. And that's because looking at where we are right now, if you're watching this and you're a subscriber, then there is a 2 out of 5 chance that you've joined in the first week of AI War 2. And that kind of shift is just amazing and incredible, but it's also going to affect what I do. So previously I was on a 6-day pretty rigid schedule, noon uploads, to each of the three previous series. And now I want to try to integrate AI War 2 into all of that, obviously. We are going to continue with AI War 2 for the rest of the beginner walkthrough, and then get our teeth into the next series. But at that point, I'm going to go to a more flexible schedule, aiming for five uploads a week. I want to get back into doing the three previous series that I had going. All of them really had something going on. It was one of the more tense seasons, only a third of the way through in Motorsport Manager. Particle Fleet's a little halfway through the story, the main campaign of the game. And then in AI War Classic, of course, we were just coming up on triggering the showdown with lots of fireworks expected there. And another thing I really appreciate is the fact that if any of the previous people who were interested in those left the channel, there weren't very many. And nobody you know, publicly complained about it, even though I just sort of you know announced it just a few days before I did it having been surprised by the AI War 2 launch. So that was really a humbling and unexpected for me uh, vote of confidence, and I appreciate that as well. So I'll be trying to do one episode of each of those a week and at least two of the AI War 2 continuing series at that point, a third one if I can get to it. But I want to create a little bit more flexibility in the schedule so that I can work on improving my editing process. That's going to take some time. I'm going to need to do some experimentation with things. We've got the holidays coming on, so obviously that's going to be busy. Where I work, we're shorthanded right now, which is not a good time for it. It's in the food business. And so I'm definitely going to be working, if anything, more hours than usual. And then I want to experiment with some other things and just try to see what I can improve 
And so I think at least until I get a little bit ahead, get a little bit of a backlog so I can be ahead of the game more like I prefer, that I'm going to back off just a bit on their frequency from six to five days a week, but then try to put more quality into what I'm putting up there. And as I do that experimentation, I again, I really value, you know, you, you may see something that's different than what you've seen before, particularly with the transitions where I end up cutting things out and trying to make those smoother and not as jarring. And all feedback on that would be excellent. Things are going to sort of be in fluid and maybe changing a bit, but over the course between now and the first of the year, that's the approach I'm going to take. So thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate your support, and hopefully we'll continue to see you in the videos to come.